And hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Entertainment with me, your host, Jonathan, once again, bringing you my spoiler review for Marvel's Deadpool and Wolverine. So if you have not seen this movie, spoilers ahead, because honestly, it's been like the weekend. So I gave you tomorrow, I gave you yesterday. I was supposed to give my review yesterday, so I gave you extra day to watch it. So if you've not seen it yet, go, go back, go, wait, for save this video, go back, watch it, come back later. So, let's talk about it. So, let's talk about the main plot of this film. So, in this film, Deadpool's kind of in a funk right now. He doesn't want to be Deadpool anymore. Why? Because he had an interview with Marvel, a.k.a. the 616, 616 universe, and he tried to he tried to become an Avenger. They turned him down. He had an interview with Happy Hogan. Obviously, this is before um, Iron Man died this time period. So Robert Downey Jr. could have been in that universe at that point. But this is before he died. So because it says, I think March, I think it was. I, I got to remember again. Or oh, February, one of them. Anyway, he goes, he's like, hey, listen, I, I just want to matter. I just want to be cool. I just want to help people. I just want to. You know, be an Avenger. And Happy Hogan's like, man, you need more than just that to be an Avenger. You need you need the heart. You need to be, you know, you want to help people because you want to help people. And he kind of got a sense that Deadpool wasn't being very, I guess, for sure that he wanted to do it in his own way. But, you know, so there's that. And then we find out that he gets kidnapped by the TVA. And, you know, Deadpool thinks, okay, I'm in trouble. I did the time watch thing. And then they already knew about it. They didn't care. Apparently, and this is the newest plot point that they had, apparently. So, in the movie Logan, the the, the last Wolverine film with Hugh Jackman before he retired, before he came back. He, his character died. So, basically, they said that, the TVA says that he was an anchor being. So, when he died... Deadpool's universe, because they're in the same universe, just different time periods. Deadpool's universe starts to decay and starts to die off. So Deadpool's like, okay, what do I do to fix this? You can't. We're giving you opportunity to go to the MCU, the main timeline, the main MCU timeline. And he goes, yeah, I'm in. Then when he finds out that his world is dying because he thought he could bring his friends and his family, they're, all, they're like, Paradox is like, yeah, no, sorry. They're all going to die a horrible death and it's going to happen quick. It's supposed to happen a thousand years, but Paradox being kind of a douche, he's like, no, nah, I want to run the TV my way. I'm going to erase the universe right away. So Deadpool literally has to go through the multiverse to try to find a Wolverine to replace his anchor version and see if he can fix that. Does not work. He finds a whole bunch of different Wolverines. He finds Patch Wolverine, played by Hugh Jackman. He plays Old Man Logan Wolverine, played by himself as well. Played, he finds short Wolverine from comic book accurate and or cartoon accurate, depends on how you you've seen it. Very ridiculous, but funny as well. Um, he finds the brown and yellow suit comic book version of Wolverine fighting the Hulk. We got to see a little glimpse of the Hulk. That was kind of cool. It was Mark Ruffalo's Hulk? So we don't really see him. We just see his like his like half his body. He just smacks Deadpool. So that was cool. They all pretty much tell him to bug off. We even see one Wolverine kind of like st stuck like this in the crucifix at shape of an X. So that was cool. A whole bunch of bones on the floor. That was a creepy one. We even see Henry Cavill come in here as a variant of Wolverine and he looked great. And then it was a great joke and a great, you know, F you to DC because they're like, oh yeah, we'll treat you better than those clowns than those clowns did to you across the street, basically talking about DC. So that was funny. And then we find Logan, who is pretty much depressed and anger. He doesn't really give a damn about his world anymore. He, he, he lost everything. You know, he didn't want to be an X-Men. And then when the X-Men really needed him, his the X-Men died. Rather, that was from Sentinels, human, you know, the, the, humans, the humans who hated the mutants at the time. All those people, could, you know, they all died. And Wolverine wears the suit to remind himself, like, yeah, I failed. I, I, I'm a loser. I gotta, I gotta, just deal with this guilt for the rest of my life now, because he can't die. So and I do wish we would have got more information about that, but what can you do? But you know, Hugh Jackman did such a great job of playing a new version of Wolverine that we never seen before. Every, 
down on his luck. I don't give a damn about the world anymore. I, I, I've lost everything. So what do I do? Just mope around and just drink as much as I can. That's exactly what happens. And then, of course, Deadpool shows up, changes his whole world, and then they end up going on this journey together. First, they start fighting with each other because they can't stand... Wolverine can't stand them because he talks too much. But Deadpool is very desperate. He wants to fix his universe. He doesn't know how. He has to get... He gets literally taken to the Void by Paradox. Him and Wolverine. They end up fighting there. They end up meeting Johnny Storm, played by Chris Evans. That was pretty cool. Then they end up going find meeting Cassandra Nova. She was a cool character. I do wish we would have gotten more from her. But, you know, what can I do? Then they end up teaming up with the other, you know, Fox characters that got, you know, pruned over there. We got Wesley Snipes Blade, Jennifer Gardner's Electra, X-23 uh, Laura, obviously. And uh, for the first time ever, Channing Tatum, Cajun accent, Gambit, which was great. We all got to see them fight. That was pretty cool. Uh, jo Johnny Storm died. He got his he got his skin taken off and then just died because Wolverine, I mean, sorry, Deadpool pretty much like, oh, yeah, Cassandra, he was like talking crap about you. He was like saying this, 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 and this, and that. And he's like, wait, what? I never said that. And the after credit pretty much says, shows Deadpool messing with the timeline and making him say those words. So that way he can feel better about himself and the audience doesn't make fun of him from actually making him dead. We got to see them fight a whole bunch of Deadpools. We got to see Nice Pool, played by Ryan Reynolds. Dogpool was great. Lady Deadpool was played by his wife, Blake Lively. And Kid Deadpool was played by his, I think, his daughter and then his, um, his baby that he just had. Is played by uh, Ryan Reynolds' actual child as well, so that was cool. <laughs> the great fight scene at the end with all the Deadpool's was was hilarious. Nathan Billion plays the head Deadpool. I love that stuff. That was fun. Um, yeah, I think my only negative about this film was the fact that this whole anchor being thing made no sense to me. It's like, okay, what, then how come? So how come the main MCU timeline is not dying right now? Because if there's no Steve Rogers and there's no, you know, Iron Man, then how come Mar the main Marvel universe is not dying? And who's the main anchor for that? You know, it, it gives you questions about, wait, where did this stuff come from? Because Doctor Strange never explained anchor stuff. Wanda never explained anchor stuff. Neither did the TVA from Loki. Even Loki never said anything about this. So why are they bringing this stuff up now? It, it just made no sense to me. And I do wish we would have got a little bit more story with Cassandra. I mean, she was dropped off there as a baby in the void. You see a lot of things in the void. It was pretty cool. I mean, we got, you know, a lady Deathstrike. Um, um, Pyro was in it. Pyro was great. I love Pyro in, this, in the movie. He just literally just, just schooled um, Human Torch. So that was cool. Uh, Cassandra Nova, Lady Deathstrike. Uh, Juggernaut, you know, a whole bunch of X-Men, Marvel, Fox villains. Even Fox's Punisher villain was in it. I do wish we would saw a Punisher, but we know no Punisher. Great jokes about it, but no Punisher. But, um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I, I really love this film. I think it's great. Is it the best Marvel Universe movie? No. Is it better than maybe No Way Home? As in, like, it's a send-off to, the, the, you know, the, these Fox characters... Yeah, it's pretty. It's you know when you watch and this, this even a montage at the end when you see all the Fox movies beginning in production and how they all started and just seeing young Hugh Jackman and young Ryan Reynolds doing their characters for the first time, it gets you. It's like man, I'm gonna miss Fox. Look, regardless of what you think about the Fox universe and those movies, they they were a staple to the MCU. You know, obviously Blade is in his own thing because that was Warner Brothers for some weird reason. Or New Line. The new Line is worn by Warner Brothers. But anyway, all those characters were great. You know? Sure, the movies weren't all great. But a lot of them were. Even though I loved all the X-Men films. I don't care. I, I really personally like all the X-Men movies. And I think they they did a really good job of sending off these characters. And giving us one last shot with them. Seeing Jennifer Garner just be badass again. That woman does not age. That woman is still beautiful. Bianca Pair. And damn you, Ben Affleck, for not keeping her. Mm. Anyway, I mean, he shouldn't have been back too as Jado. Great joke about him too in here. But um, yeah, I had a lot of fun with this film and um, I'm just excited to see it again if I can. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about this film. Are you guys excited for this? Not excited for this? You guys know all the spoilers now about all the cameos. What's your favorite cameo? 
Leave me a comment below. Let me know. Stay tuned for more. Thank you very much. And have a good day.